At the beginning we are shown a writer named Eddie Mora who is lazy, in living life and lacks motivation and work. Causing his girlfriend named Lindy to be forced to break up with him. After separating, Eddie meets Vernon, who is the older brother of his ex-wife. Vernon laughed when he realized that Eddie had not finished his book. Vernon gave him a drug called NCT and said that if the drug would help him think, Eddie, who was suspicious of the drug, was again explained by Vernon, that the drug was legal and was in the licensing process. Even though he looked doubtful, Eddie took it and drank it before entering the boarding house. While walking to his room, Eddie met the boarding house owner's son who was collecting arrears that had not been paid. When Eddie heard the insult, the drug began to show its effect so Eddie was able to calm him down. With increased brain activity, Eddie helped him complete his thesis in just one day. When he entered his room, Eddie felt that the effects of the medicine had cleared his mind, and he now knew what to do. When the effects of NCT's drugs were still there, Eddie became diligent by cleaning his room and started writing his book before going to bed. In the morning, things were back to normal, luckily the book that was written yesterday was finished and Edie asked one of the publishing companies to read it. And because the publisher was amazed by his book, he decided to go to Vernon to get magic pills like yesterday. Vernon, who saw that Eddie was getting addicted, then took advantage of it by telling Eddie to take his laundry, and give him breakfast before being given the goods. Unexpectedly, when he returns he is surprised to see the apartment is in disarray and Vernon is dead. Eddie immediately called the police to report the incident. But when Eddie was waiting for the police to arrive, he realized that the person who killed Vernon had intended to take the NCT he also wanted. Before the police arrived, Eddie finally managed to find the bag of NCT that Vernon had hidden. While at the police station for questioning, Eddie received a call from Melissa, who is his ex-wife. Melissa asked if Vernon had given her any suspicious drugs or pills. To cover it up, Eddie lied to Melissa. Eddie finally managed to get home from the police station with some money and NCT Vernon safely. Every day, Eddie always takes a pill that keeps him motivated and excited. Eddie was able to finish his advanced book while learning new skills. Judging from the look in his eyes, Eddie always amazes everyone because he has a lot of knowledge. His whole life changed drastically, from being a shy person, to being the center of attention at every meeting. Not only that, Eddie also made new acquaintances, including Kevin, who offered him a job at a securities company. At his boarding house, Eddie learns how the stock market works, but Eddie realizes that he needs more capital to earn more money quickly. In looking for capital, Eddie meets Kennedy who can lend big money. However, Kennedy threatened to beat him if he didn't return the money in time. After getting a loan, Eddie won big by getting $2 million in just four days. The incident left other employees astonished and many job offers came to him. Arriving at the boarding house, Kevin called Eddie to ask him to attend a meeting with a conglomerate named Carl. In the afternoon, Eddie is reunited with Lindy who is very surprised by the change, and they are back in love. While enjoying the weekend with Lindy, Eddie realizes that there is a mysterious man who keeps following him everywhere. The next day, Eddie and Kevin met with Carl. To test Eddie, Carl asked him to analyze the possibility of his company merging with one of Hank's big companies. Carl who listened to Edie's good analysis, began to like Eddie. After his successful meeting with Carl, Edie's adrenaline starts to wander around the city without him noticing. When he met a group of thugs, Eddie unexpectedly remembered the sealet tips he had watched a few years ago. After winning the fight, Eddie goes to a nightclub and meets a woman. The next morning, Eddie wakes up without remembering what happened last night. Then Kevin called him to come to the meeting with Carl. Edie also tried to refuse because he was still dizzy and planned not to take his pills again. During the meeting, Eddie saw the news about the murder of a woman he met last night. After failing to concentrate, Eddie returned to his boarding house wondering if he had killed the woman. Melissa suddenly calls to ask again if Vernon has given her anything. Melissa warns her not to take the item Vernon gave her because the effect is very dangerous. Eddie, who knows the direction of the conversation, asks Melissa to meet, but Melissa refuses. Eddie then opened Vernon's notebook and tried to check the contacts in the notes. When Eddie called him one by one, he was surprised to know that many people on the record were sick or even dead. Eddie began to worry, but before he could get an answer, a mysterious man who had been following him for several days was now chasing him. Luckily Eddie managed to escape and then met with Melissa who looked sick. Melissa, who mentioned the magic pill and said that she had also taken it in the past, said that the pill was fantastic. But everything changed when he stopped taking the pill. Seeing Eddie who was scared, Melissa calmed her down by saying if possible the pills had been renewed. Eddie was frank, if he had just tried to stop drinking it. But Melissa advised not to stop immediately, but to reduce the dose first gradually. Melissa also emphasized that she did not know who made the NCT pills. Unexpectedly, 
Kennedy approached Edie to collect his money. While arguing fiercely, Kennedy looked at the pill in Edie's hand and drank it before leaving. Edie's condition worsened and he immediately met Lindy in his office. When invited to the hospital, Eddie refuses while frankly about the magic pill, and asks him to take stock hidden in Lindy's apartment. When Lindy managed to find the pill, unexpectedly a mysterious man started chasing her. Even though two passers-by had helped him, the mysterious man was able to instantly overthrow the two of them. After finding a safe hiding place, Lindy calls Eddie to tell him about the mysterious man. Lindy was very scared and cornered, Eddie asked Lindy to take the pill she brought. Reluctantly, Lindy drank it because there was no other way. A magic pill worked that made Lindy even stronger than before. After successfully escaping, Lindy immediately gave the pill to Eddie. The next morning, Eddie apologizes for what happened yesterday. While Lindy looked worried for Eddie because she already knew the effects of the NCT pills. Lindy immediately asked Eddie to stop drinking it, but Edie replied that he planned to stop after having a lot of money to live with Lindy. After that, Kennedy went to him and asked for the pills he took yesterday while bullying Eddie. After Eddie gives Kennedy the pill, Eddie hires an aide to guard him against the next Kennedy arrival. A few days later, Eddie seemed familiar with Carl at his job. With already abundant savings, Eddie hired scientists to make the same pill, but without the side effects. After a few days, the police met him and said that many eyewitnesses had seen him at the scene. As a reminder, the case of the woman who died while dating Eddie is still unsolved. Eddie, who does not remember what happened that night, hires a well-known lawyer in the city to help handle his case. Eddie then attends a meeting that aims to plan a merger of Carl's company and Edward's Hank company. As the meeting ends, Carl and Eddie witness Edward's health deteriorating. After the meeting that went smoothly, Carl offered Eddie to occupy a higher position. Eddie, who saw the benefits that would be obtained, immediately accepted it. Meanwhile, he realizes that the place where he lives is not safe when he finds out that someone is breaking in to look for his NCT pills, so he decides to move into an apartment with the maximum level of security for a billionaire. Then Kennedy returns to Edie to ask for more NCT, while threatening to divulge his secret to his company. Meanwhile at the last meeting, Edward doesn't show up and his wife says her husband is in the hospital. When Edward's wife is picked up, Eddie realizes that the mysterious man following him is Edward's aide, which means Edward is also drinking NCT. Turning to the murder case against women, Eddie took a photo with other suspects according to the characteristics given by the witness. When Eddie met with Carl, he received information about the leak of information related to joining the two companies. Carl asked Eddie for advice on the situation. But when he wanted to take NCT from his jacket, Eddie realized that someone had stolen it. After that, Eddie received a package sent by an unknown person. How surprised Eddie was when he found out that the contents of the package were the pieces of his aide's hand. Then when Eddie returned to his apartment, Kennedy came to him to ask for more NCT. At first, Eddie felt hopeless towards Kennedy. But because he changed his mind and decided to take his last pill to fight Kennedy. When he wanted to drink it, the pill fell to the sidelines of the floor. Then Kennedy injects himself with the NCT while telling Eddie if this is the best way to use it. Then Kennedy intends to torture Eddie, in order to tell him about the origin of the NCT pills. However, Eddie managed to defeat Kennedy and his men. When news broke that Edward was dead, Eddie went to the hospital to tell the mysterious man that his lawyer had taken NCT from his jacket, but did not hand it over to Edward. After hearing the information, the mysterious man immediately cooperated with Edie to beat the lawyer. A year later, Eddie managed to publish his book and is now a candidate for senator in the city. When Carl visited Eddie during his campaign, Carl told Eddie that he had closed Edie's NCT pharmaceutical company. Carl confirms that he knows the secret of Edie's genius, and asks him to make regulations in the city that benefit his company. An annoyed Eddie refuses the order. Said that he had a backup laboratory and had refined the pill by minimizing its side effects. Later, Eddie seemed to have lunch with Lindy while ordering food in Chinese. When Lindy asked if Eddie still consume NCT, Eddie pretends not to hear it and the movie ends. Thank you for watching. Click subscribe for more interesting videos and see you in the next video.